We have the, oh, smile, you're on camera. Nice, you're on camera too. <laughs> hey guys, Mike Carpenter here. I'm a uh, return to uh, Pasco, Washington, to the uh, Burlington Northern uh, Santa Fe spring yard again, and uh, looking for graffiti, and we'll see what we can find. Yeah, so anyway, so down there where those lights are, they that's where they stage. They get the those these uh, the engines, and they have the um, they can back them into these uh, into these little like these uh, rows of uh, train cars. Okay, I found an area here. It has some uh, pretty good graffiti. See, it's uh, we have one down, one car down here, which is uh, pretty ambitious. Gotta get a closer look at that one. The ground is uh, extremely soft. I'm trying to walk on here. Okay, here's the one. Here's the one that caught my eye. That one is, uh, someone must have had a ladder to paint that one. <laughs> yeah, I tried to go in for a closer look on this, but uh, I've got some, uh, there's a lot of security, uh, like trucks okay, patrolling the area, and they seem to be, uh, they seem to have stepped it up that I've uh, keep getting out and walking down toward the trains. Maybe they think I'm uh, carrying cans of spray paint or something. <laughs> hmm. Okay. But, uh, not sure what to think about that. If you're gonna spray paint on a train and take a chance of getting caught, then I don't know. You gotta at least uh, do something. Uh, Something more, I don't know, artsy. Kind of like that right there. It's old graffiti there. Sorry, this thing's like, uh, I don't know how many miles this road is, He's this lineup of train cars, but I'm uh, doing part of it in the car just because uh, it's too far to walk. <laughs> kind of like that right there. We looked at that just a little few minutes ago. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we've hit another section here. That is a really, really old train car there. It's all rusted out, and it's it's barely got any paint on it. It looks like. Mainly, uh, mainly just a lot of, a lot of this graffiti is just like uh, words and and whatnot. Not like uh, images or pictures of anything. Let's keep going here. More, uh, more word graffiti. And I'm not sure what this building is here. We've got a little picnic table out there. I guess uh, the employees could take a break. Don't know. It's 
pretty interesting there. Can't tell what it says though, RCLD or something, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Okay. So uh, some really old graffiti there. Okay, here we go. Here's here's some more of the really old stuff. And then you have a Union Pacific car mixed into the Burlington Northern. Not sure how that happens. It's like uh, when you have livestock and your when your cows gets mixed into somebody else's herd. I don't know. More graffiti. Just a bunch of writing. Jayco. Okay, so here we have uh, these abandoned drain cars, which is very interesting. I go back in there. I don't think I can get back in there. I don't see any graffiti. you think it'd be a good place to do graffiti. Okay, so I looked at this earlier, and I'm not really sure what this is. It's almost like the, the junkyard of trains. And this right here, I don't know if this is functional, or if it's just because it's, it has a purpose, I don't really know. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of train cars here. We have oh smile, you're on camera. Nice, you're on camera too. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what this is. I see more train, more cars back there in the back. It's scrap or salvage or something. I don't know. Okay, that's pretty far out there. I can't get any closer. I wish I could. But we've got these, uh, all those train tracks. These, I think these trains are remote controlled, so. And besides that, I'd be trespassing, so. Don't want that. Okay, so I came across this uh, place called Columbia Basin Blends. I don't know what they do, but they have all these train cars parked along the side of their building. One of them had uh, one of them had graffiti on it. Just more uh, more of the usual, you know, writing. Nothing. Uh, Nothing too exciting. So while I was checking out the uh, graffiti on the trains back there, I came across this abandoned uh, motel. It says no trespassing, of course. But it looks like everything's pretty much boarded up anyway. The story is. Hmm. It's like just a lot of fencing and junk back there. It's just kind of like a dumping ground. Right there. We've got it from the front. Oh, 
weird red handprints. And more handprints. Looks like it's open. And I'd like to check that out, but it's got no trespassing signs everywhere. way in Pasco here down to these uh, rails, some of the other spots being closer to the rails. This one looks like it's just an actual freight train. And it's just a bunch of containers on these flatbeds. I'm not going to see much in the way of graffiti except maybe on the flatbeds themselves. Okay, well, all right. No, I don't think we're gonna see much in the way of graffiti. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, we didn't, uh, I didn't get as close to the uh, graffiti today as I wanted to on these trains. They were just uh, way out in the distance. Um, sometimes they're uh, really on the, on the rails that are closer to the roads, but just it just didn't work out today. So I'm definitely gonna return in the future and um, do another video. I like that abandoned uh, hotel we found. Some of the doors were, looked like they could be open and gone inside. Um, if you want to see inside those motel rooms, uh, let me know. Put it in the comments, and I will definitely return and uh, go inside some of those rooms with a flashlight. I think I can pull it off. There's no trespassing signs, but there's not a lot of traffic on that road either. So anyway, if you like this video, uh, give it a like, uh, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.